Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lion Fighting Championships 8. A fantastic evening of K1, mixed martial arts and boxing, and we are ready for our first bout of the evening. So would you welcome first into the cage, Thomas Magnetis. <laughs> He represents 10th Planet London, Gregory Kozlowski. Your referee for this bag, Mr. Dan Moverhady. We get on the way here at the LFC8. Thomas Magnetis versus Gregory Kozlowski. Thomas in the red corner, Gregory in the blue. And you can see that Gregory has the height advantage here, Dean. Solid looking pair of men in the cage and a fantastic atmosphere to open Lion Cage Championships 8. And it's Kozlowski that's looking to lead. With the, and immediately when I said that, it's Thomas that goes for the shoot. Magnetis working for that single leg. He's got his head trapped at the moment, but he's looking to pass. You see him stuff the right leg there of his opponent in Gregory. Looking to pass the side control here. Well, I think with that upright exchange, he looked at the size of the opponent in front of him and he looked a solid boxer. So I think it was a good call to try and take his man down. But how many times have we seen when you initiate that you often end up in that guillotine? Kozlowski has worked diligently on his wrestling shots and his strength and condition. He's worked on his plyometric power, Malcolm, so that enables him to shoot really hard and fast. And you can hear the crowd response because Thomas Magnetis from Batcave MMA brought a huge support here tonight. A real pop for him when he came in. And as you said, he's really working for control here. Magnetis working to improve his position. Gregory trying to retain half guard here. But good position now, as you said, for Thomas Magnetis. And really got to work, but Dan Motherhead, he's seen enough bringing them back up. And I think that will suit Kozlowski. Looking at the early exchanges. Kozlowski looking like the more rangier fighter, the bigger reach. 
right, looking to pump the jab out, big right hand, and it lands. Well, this is why you could see Magnetis wanted to take it downstairs. He went for the shoot like he had now, but Etta right hand, but he's got where he needs to be. Wow, massive athleticism shown there by Gregory. Beautiful job switching that position. Dean, he wants to keep it upright. He's, he's really doing well with those punches, and you can see. Thomas, the crowd respond, he needs it on the ground to avoid those punches. He's got to be careful though, because that last shoot was when he shipped that big right hand. Thomas Magnetis on top, sitting in the lazy half guard there. Gregory's not clasped his legs, looking to perhaps get to guard here. Well, as you can see, Gregory's really looking to tie him up here. And once he gets to ground, Thomas really needs to work because we've seen once they're upright, Kozlowski is such a danger. Kozlowski's striking is paramount, his power is paramount, but his submissions off his back are active. But the sheer power, as we just saw from Thomas, able to pass that guard with ease. Well, he needs to. As I said, I think we've seen from those upright exchanges how dangerous his opponent is. So he really needs to maximise his time on the floor here for the judges, because even on the ground, as we saw with that attempted reversal, Kozlowski's a very strong young man. Magnetis needs to be active, he needs to be doing damage or advancing his position, otherwise he might get another stand-up. So Dean, at the end of that first round, two halves of that round, really, Kozlowski, so dangerous upright, especially with that right. Obviously, Thomas Magnetis wants to take it to ground, but he has to risk that shoot when we saw he took a right hand to get there, doesn't he? At the moment, Magnetis is not setting up those shots as much as I'd like him to. He's standing on the outside of trading a little bit with Gregory, and that's a dangerous game. He's able to level change really, really well and get there and initiate the takedown. He's just got to do more of that, but hide his wrestling shots with strikes. So round two, Dean, and a real contrast of styles here. We can see that Gregory will really like to keep this upright. He's had real success. And we see at every opportunity, Thomas wants to take it to ground. Now, the problem for Thomas is how he gets there, isn't it? Magnetis on the back foot, he's, he's got, a, there we go, he's got a shoot, but mix up with strikes, he's leaning back a little bit too much for my liking. Gregory trying to get that butterfly sweep again, but Magnetis has switched it up, sensed that coming and dropped his hips down to the mat. Well, there's almost like a change of mind from Gregory as well. You just thought he was going to sprawl, didn't you? But it obviously, as we saw here, he's looking to get back upright. Just misses with that right hand, but the left lands. Kozlowski straight in with the strikes. As soon as he gets to his feet, he's pounding them punches in. Nice lead left hook there. Oh! This was the worry for Magnetis, the way he goes in. He's hurt now, Dean. He is oh hurt here from these punches. And it's from that knee. Instinct goes for the leg again. But we said he's not setting up his shoots. And he ate a huge right knee before any of those punches. A desperation shot there from Magnetis. He's got his head trapped. Kozlowski again striking as soon as he gets to his feet. So quick off the mark. That said, Magnetis has got a chin because he shipped some heavy leather in this round. And again, he shoots in unconditionally, no attempt to set up. And I think that's from the punishment he's taken. But let's credit that chin and him still being here. Kozlowski now adjusted his hips. He's sprawling his hips a lot better now, Malcolm. He's driving the, his hips down to the floor, which drives Magnetis down and it makes it really hard to get that takedown. You see there he's using the wrestling switch to stick his hands on the inside and the outside of his opponent. And he's looking he's for, the for the left arm here, Dean. He's looking for the 100% grip there. Look to turn him over. See, so he's coiling the arm there just to break that grip on the leg. Well, the other advantage he's got now is a very tired, hurt opponent. Thomas Magnetis at that knee, then a lot of solid punches. Instinct and drills and timing got him where he was, but he must be still trying to recover from that huge knee. Almost certainly was autonomous, those wrestling shots, straight off the bat, like you said, Malcolm. He was hurt, he was dazed, he was on Wobble Street, and now he finds himself in a good position. And I say that because he's recovering right now. That's right, every second he gets clears his head more, but this is dangerous for him being stood up again now. He won't want this. Kozlowski's realm, every fight starts on its feet. Let's see if Kozlowski can sprawl and brawl. He's doing it at a good range there. He's Using his range perfectly, he's really wary of the shot. And you can see him looking, he knows that Magnetis will want the takedown, and he's, he's looking, and again, he was ready for this and sprawled, and then the punches again. It's tough time for Thomas Magnetis here. 
as Gregory Kozlowski really has his measure here in the second round. And that right hand clips him again. What a chin oh Magnitis has. Look Goodness. at his shot, Steve. And he still stood there. Unbelievable. Absolutely brutal shots there to the bell. Outstanding sprawl and brawl tactics from Gregory Kozlowski. It's a big round for him, a huge round for him. But let's look on the other side of the coin. Magnitis, instinct took over. What a chin from this young man. You've got to ask yourself, does that take a toll on his cardio, his endurance, his equilibrium, Malcolm? Is that going to affect him in the later rounds? Well, the problem he's got over this third and final round is it's almost like Gregory Kozlowski has sussed him out. He knows what he wants to do now. He knows where he's going to go. And as we saw with his foot, um, footwork, you said perfect tactics, sprawl and brawl, and right the way through the round. And now he's going to do that against, as you said, I feel a tired opponent again. This could be a hard, hard third round for Magnetis. He's got to get that takedown early, and really he's got to get that submission deep. He's got to look for the finish. He's got to take him down, advance to position, the TKO, or if he can secu secure a submission. So we go into the third and final round with Gregory Kobzlowski knowing he's got a big second round under his belt here. And he'll be confident as he comes forward once more. Sprawl and brawl tactics here from Kozlowski. He's there. He's great in an out movement there. He's really wary of this wrestling shot. Magnetis really needs to turn it up and hide his wrestling shots. I was going to say, Magnetis, when he throws a couple of those punches, just set up the takedown. He's got to go for the takedown early because he shipped too much punishment upright. And again, he needs to set it up. Kozlowski is ready for this and aware of it. Really telegraph shots there, but I like the tactics of Thomas Magnetis. He's driving his opponent back to the cage, and there we go, he scoops him up. It gives him a little bit of an advantage there. Imagine if you were outside and you were pressed up against the wall, you've got nowhere to go. Well, the crowd that Magnetis has brought responded to this. It, as we said, it's a good tactic, but here now, with those opening two rounds, he really has to work. He can't afford to just sit there, Dean. Thomas Magnetis, complacent on top, bleeding quite profusely there from his head, I believe. It's the nose. It was right. the punishment his nose took in that second oh, round. Oh, we can see it dripping now from the angle. He's looking to finish him ground and pound here. He needs to get out of that guard position, though. Yes, he needs to be able to posture up here and really lay it down because you feel that Kozlowski is still strong. His cardio is still good. At last, though, Magnetis is asking questions of his opponent. And I do like the fact he did what he needed to do early. He had to get the takedown, and he got it early, and he is really working now. Magnetis on top. And he's in his own corner as well, so they will be feeding him information there. Watch for him to posture up and land some bombs there. I'd like to see him land some bombs and use that opportunity to pass the guard, transition to mount perhaps, and he can land some more decisive shots. That's right, because at the moment, Kozlowski will be happy with the position, but good transition, as we said, to side control for Magnetis. There goes the knee. Like you said, I'd like to see him posture up and get some shots in, maybe some hammer fists. At least to think about strikes or submissions that will finish this fight. It's arguably he's down on the scorecards. He's got some good takedowns, but the tactics of Gregory Kozlowski were just paramount. Well, this is it. it all depends for me on that first round because Magnitsky has done the right thing here in the third, got the takedown early, got the control early. It's how the judges see that first round because the second round only went one way. And the golden saying, never leave it in the judges' hands as Magnitsky now is looking to do some shoulder damage there. He's pressing his shoulder into the... Oh, we get stand-up here. This is unfortunate for Magnetis. And Kozlowski really needs to stay up right now. That's not his blood. That's Magnetis' blood dripping down on him from that position. They're both just going to be cleaned up, I think, by Dan Moverhady. Yeah, there could be suspected broken nose. They're just going to check it. Fighter safety is paramount here in the LFC. Yes, and as I repeat again, Magnetis, a lot of those shots, we've seen lesser men out of there. Kozlowski must think, how is this man still here? How is he still standing? Because the tactics from the second round were spot on. Magnetis, when he walked out to the cage, I noticed he was really, really confident. And it was actually Gregory that looked a bit nervous. Well, he's been given a second opportunity here, Gregory. And if I was him, I'd try and keep it upright for as long as possible now, because when it's upright, he dominates the fight. Magnetis throwing that lead and left hook there. It's a tie up perhaps with the right hand and then go low with the shot. He can't telegraph like that. 
as Gregory showed us before and just showed us again, he can sprawl and he can get those double unhooks and alleviate the takedown. But Dean, overall, a superb opening for Lion Fighting Championship. Eight. A contrast of styles that work perfectly in our favour. Very powerful men, very fast men here at Welterweight. Magnetis came out with a wrestling pedigree, some nice left hooks. Gregory Kozlowski, superior sprawl and brawl tactics. Let's see if he's done enough to earn the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before I make the official announcement on this one, what a great way to open the show from these two warriors. Superb stuff. But we do have a unanimous decision. Our judges in favor of the blue corner, Gregory Kozlowski.